Hello, my name's Jess and I'm just going to give you a very quick basic tutorial on how to combine documents as one single PDF so that we can use it as a bundle. The first thing you need to do is go to your folder where you have your documents saved for your bundle. Here I have my index followed by the documents in the order that I want them to appear in my bundle. In order to get the documents to go into the order I want them to, I have numbered them. The next thing we need to do is to highlight the documents, right click, and we need to select Combine Files in Acrobat. Now we've been taken to the Adobe Acrobat application and we've just been given an opportunity to review the documents that we've asked it to combine before it actually merges them as one PDF. So you can see that the order of the documents goes from left to right. So here I have my index and it was followed by documents numbered 1, 2, 3 and 4. We've just been given an opportunity now just to check the order is OK. If we want to change the order, we can just simply click on the document and drag and drop it to another, lo another location or another place. Or we could highlight it and use the bin icon to delete it. Or we can add files option here and add some more files if we want to. But I'm happy with what we've got here in front of us. So all that's left to do now is to click the combine button. is normal for it to take a few moments to scan all the documents and combine it. Hooray! And now we have our bundle. So now we have our bundle and this is the view we have of it at the moment. Uh, we have some tools down the right hand side. Just get rid of that pop up for a minute. Uh, where we can edit the document, we can organise the, the pages and also we have our page thumbnails icon here on the left where we can also see how many pages there are. There are currently 28 pages including the index. The other way we can view our pages and organise them is to click on the organise pages tool on the right hand side. Here we're able to select multiple pages and delete multiple pages in one go or drag and drop them and change the layout of them. It's very similar to PowerPoint presentation really where you can manipulate the slides, insert new slides or delete them. That's how I find it best to, to think about using Adobe Pro anyway. I'll just close that for a moment. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some page numbers to this or paginate the bundle. And to do that, we need to use the edit PDF tool here on the right. So if I click on that, you will see that we're given some extra tools on the ribbon along the top. And what we're going to use is the header and foot footer option, something that we're used to using in Microsoft Word. And I'm going to click add, add new, and now we're given some boxes to fill in. We're used to having the page numbers on our bundles in the bottom right hand corner. So I'm going to put my cursor here where it says right footer text. And I'm going to insert page number. There we are, I can see number one has appeared. And we're going to change the font size to size 22. Now what I don't want is, I don't want the index to have page number one on it. So we go to page range options and I just select that option there, page ranges, page, pages from page two. That's where I want my pagination to start. I click OK, OK again. If I just close this window on the side there and let's have a look. 
yeah so we can see there's no page pagination page on our index and it should start page one on our claim form and it does that's great that's just what we want lastly in terms of page numbering if I expand the thumbnails you can see that whilst the index hasn't been paginated it does have a PDF page number of PDF slide number one and that could be a little bit confusing so what I'm going to do is just to show you how to change that if I right click and go to page labels for the index we can label these as A, B and C. And now you see this is changed to PDF page A. And now the claim form is not only paginated as page number one, but it is also PDF page one. Now I'm going to show you my favorite tool of Adobe Pro, which is linking items on the index to the relevant pages. To do that, we need our edit PDF tool on the right. And we've been given a couple of extra tools in our ribbon here. And the one we want is link, add. We select the text ET1 claim form. We want it set to invisible rectangle and go to a page view and we click next. Now I'm just going to expand my page thumbnails and I'm going to go to the claim form, click on that page and set link. What this does is if I close this page thumbnail view and this edit view here, when you go to click on ET1 claim form, a little hand icon has now appeared and it jumps you straight to that page without having to scroll or try and find it. And if you've got a really large bundle, this is going to be so helpful. I'll show you how to do that again. If we go back to the index and choose edit PDF. So we get our link option appear again. Click add. We highlight ET3 claim form. Next, I'm going to scroll down here to get to the ET3. Here he is. Slide 16, set link. And again, we'll do it for the ET3 grounds of resistance. Next. Find our grounds of resistance, set link, and lastly the disclosure document, next. We only need to select the first page of that document. We don't need to select every single page to that link. It's just so it jumps you to the beginning of each document. So now I'm going to close this and when I click on disclosure document, it jumps you straight there. This is a great time saver. Now I'm going to show you how to scan the PDF so that it has character recognition throughout the whole document. This is a really good function to use on your bundle because it searches for keywords that can be crucial in your argument in a hearing. For example, if there is abusive language referred to or captured in your disclosure that you want to highlight in your, in your document, you're able to use this magnifying glass to search for that specific word so it can take you there really quickly. To make the document have this character recognition function available to you, we need to click on the scan option. If I just expand this, you will see down here it's got scan and OCR. 
We select that one and we want to recognize text, which is a tool that's now appeared on the top ribbon. And we choose in this file. And now we've got a recognized text come up in blue and we choose that. This will now scan every single page in the bundle so that it recognizes all the text and images in there so we can perform a search against specific words. Now it's done. If I go to the magnifying glass, we can use this to find page numbers and keywords. So if I search the word pain and hit return, you can see it's all taken me to the page where those references occur. If I click next, it takes me through the document where it can find those words, the word pain in this case. Now I'm going to show you how to mark a word for redaction. I'm going to go to our last page in the document to do this. We go to the redact tool, which we have here on the right hand side in pink. We choose that option there. And again, extra options will come up in the ribbon for us to use. So we want to mark some text for redaction. And now we're asked to choose another option and we're going to choose text and images. We get a little message just to say we can permanently black out and remove sensitive content. That's OK. And now I'm going to highlight some words for redaction. You can see it went black and now it's got a red board around it. So it's just checking we're OK and happy with the selection there. And now we choose apply. We just get a message to say, are we absolutely sure we want to do this? Yes, we do. And now it's gone black. It's doing a little scan on the left, as you'll see, and it will change the name of the document to include the words redacted. So we know that this is a document which has had a redaction done to it. Lastly, just to show you how to add some text to our index, if you want to insert the page numbers, all we need to do is go to the edit PDF tool. Look at our additional options at the top and we choose add text. Just minimize that. And we have a cursor here. We click in the box we want. And we simply type pages 1 to 15. So just in conclusion, just to recap on why Adobe Acrobat Pro is so useful for bundles because we can combine documents as one single PDF, as we know that tribuna tribunals won't accept bundable bundles emailed in chunks. Sorry, it's not very easy to say. And we can also use Word, email, Excel formats. These can all be converted to the PDF or vice versa. We can easily rearrange document pages using the Organize Pages tool, dragging and dropping relevant pages in and where we need them. We can rotate PDF pages as well. This is really handy if you have spreadsheets which are being portrayed in the portrait form, but we need them to be landscape. That is a really handy tool. We can also scan the PDF so that all keywords are searchable within the entire bundle with the character recognition function. We can easily redact text and we can edit the content using the edit PDF tool. We can replace text, change images and um, flip and crop and align and rotate images. We can also use the edit PDF tool to insert page numbers via the header and footer option. 
And my favorite tool was linking specific pages within the bundle to the itemized documents within the index. I hope you found this useful. Thank you.